Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and um, if you haven't already do subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications we're dropping tutorials every day so today this is going to be like my fifth attempt trying to do this tutorial um, but I said to myself whatever happens today I'm going to just release the tutorial so here we go without further ado we're going to look at how to use the motion correction tool for the fifth time and this one is actually going to get uploaded no matter what the outcome so without further ado let's crack on with the tutorial so you just want to quickly load up a character um, we'll just uh, load up a character from the party people pack and you can get this pack from Reillusion. it's got some really cool characters in that you can use as background characters etc and we'll just load that character up and uh, we'll just turn him around. Uh, we're going to get the character to kind of basically walk in a straight line. Now, I've tried this a few times and I haven't got great results. They've been pretty mixed, but we're going to try it again and we're going to hope for the best. So we're just going to get up a floor just so we can have um, you know, a basic floor that the character can walk along in the scene. All right, brilliant. And just to make the scene a little bit more filled out, we'll just add a quick sky, because why not? Right, so here's our scene. Now, we're gonna go up here to our motion puppet tool, and um, we're gonna add in a basic walk. So we'll just go to move down here, and we'll add in uh, a basic walk. Uh, we'll hit preview, so that looks pretty cool. And then we'll just record that for a few seconds now the issue here is that when you see we after we've recorded these steps you'll see that the character walks uh, in position he doesn't actually move so when we try to move him manually we're going to see that we're going to get quite a lot of foot sliding going on now that's where the uh, motion correction tool comes in handy um, so we'll just drag the timeline a few frames ahead and then we'll just um, drag our character down the timeline and that should then add a nice walk in motion but if we hit play you'll see you know there is some foot sliding going on feet look like they're sliding along the floor gets a bit better towards the end but you can really see uh, the foot sliding is quite quite predominant in the scene uh, so one of the one of the ways that you can combat this is by right clicking on the actual motion and going up here to your motion correction tool now this is only uh, in iClone 8 and uh, it's a new tool and I've seen um, I've seen that it can get some decent results but I'm yet to get some perfect ones so I'm gonna try now what we can do is you leave the preset on normal standing so if you're doing walking scenes you just want to leave it on that that will just ensure all these boxes are ticked here and this is just your um, your foot and your toe for both feet and then you just want to make sure that all of those um, all of the presets down here are synced across all of these uh, feet up here and once that's um, left on we're just going to hit correct we're not going to mess around with anything yet we're just going to hit correct and that will take a few seconds and then when it loads up you'll see that places some feet on the ground so already I'm having an issue here because I can't see the feet so I'm just wondering if the floor may be too high so let me just bring the floor down okay I'm gonna have to close this and click on the floor okay cool so we can see there that we've got um, the feet pattern. Looks pretty cool. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit play. And you can see the results, pretty cool. Pretty, um, pretty amazing actually. Um, okay, so I've done something a little bit wrong here. So we're just gonna go ahead in the timeline. And we're just going to click remove object animation. Okay, so if we go back to the beginning and hit play, the first couple of steps are a bit off, but these steps are really cool. You can see that uh, is sticking much more to the floor now. 
So what one of the things we can do is we can just um, we can just brush up on that just a little bit by going back into our motion correction tool. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Go back into the motion correction. And we can just adjust that. Um, we can go to the beginning frame. And we can uh, we can up the transition duration to about 12. And we can lower the reach duration and the release duration to 5 and minus 5. Now, what these basically do, uh, the reach duration is the amount of time um, the foot will kind of take to reach the floor and place on the floor where the footprint is and the release duration is how long it will hold there before it then releases so uh, you want to just amend that so you get a nice smooth uh, foot clamping on the floor and then releasing off the floor so we'll just hit correct and then we'll just hit OK and that will then that will then um, add those corrections and if we just hit playback now you can see them steps are a little bit more smoother now it's not 100% accurate and you can do um, you can do adjustments like clicking on the feet um, this is the best I've got it in the three or four attempts that I have made um, but as you can see the feet do stick much more to the floor compared to that first um, compared to that first 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 try so um, it, you know really really is a kind of useful tool in getting those feet to kind of stick to the floor now as I was gonna say there is a number of things you can do in terms of you know if you wanted to realign the feet you can um, you can actually go into your scene tab here and in the motion correction tool you can see here it has a left foot and the right foot so you can select them individually and you can just uh, move them around in the scene if you need to realign them now as you can see here it's put out a number of feet for some reason you just might want to delete that and here is the toes as well it's put out two so you can just delete that and yeah so you can just play around with that if you need to realign the feet and you can kind of realign where where the feet will land but of course you know that's the wrong position as you can see the feet needed uh, to have a little bit more swing and come out more so you know what we'll do is um, position that around here and you know just a great way to kind of reposition everything and get it in the right place as you can see that one is um, a little close uh, but that is where we stop the motion so uh, that would make sense but yeah so anywhere you feel that uh, the feet may be um, stretching too much like here you can see it feels like the toe stretches a little bit too much and feels a bit awkward on the model you can then just click on that foot and drag that down a little bit um, again I don't know why it's created two prints and two toe prints it really should only create one but there you go it is a bit like I say it is a bit fiddly and uh, but you can see it does do some really cool cool amazing things so if I just hit play now you can see the toe doesn't stretch as much and you know you can fine-tune it even more uh, just you know to really kind of get that in a nice comfortable accurate position so it's a really amazing tool and you can see you know in a matter of seconds I've corrected the feet so you see it there um, you know it's a much more smoother smoother step and the toe doesn't stretch as much so you know it is a great tool and it's amazing and you know this is some of the best results I've got out of it I have been practicing a little bit more so you know it is a great tool and um, yeah just to kind of elaborate a little bit more if you did want to kind of you know adjust um, the feet a little bit more in depth you can click on the model 
And then you can go down here and you can turn on the reach targets. That will then display all the reach targets that we've just kind of, uh, we've just put down here. Uh, the footsteps, so they'll be here as you can see. Um, and you can just kind of amend these and you know make them blend more uh, just by dragging left and right and this will just blend them in a bit more and uh, give you different results for each one so I really hope this tutorial helps guys um, I will probably do another one on it a bit later as I um, advance and, and use it a lot more and get a lot more better with it but for now just a quick tutorial on how to use that and you know I really hope you can go away and get some fantastic fantastic results it is a game changer um, you know it is um, simple to use as you just saw there and you know really hope it helps you get creative so see you again soon for another tutorial Ooh.